Who will replace boring as fuck Hank? I wish it was Hank Schrader. No, it's Hank Tranquilo or whatever you want to call him. Because this guy has to go with Sergeant Arms. This... Well, I was actually I was going to suggest. I was going to say, um, why, why, how do we know he's getting replaced? Why, why would Easy keep him? Why the fuck did Alvarez even keep him? Everyone else gets demoted, but this guy got to stay. Why? I mean, you could argue if he's not, if 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 Hank isn't the sergeant at arms, then what is the point of him being in the series? Put a he, bullet he, in. He literally offers nothing else. Oh, what, what does he do as a sergeant at arms? Remind me again. What's he ever done? Yeah, yeah and you've never seen that one scene where he he, he he protects the president. Like, I mean, like earlier on in the show, like him and Bishop did conspire a lot and talk about things. Like, like oh, remember Coco. Penny? Remember when Penny walks in? He shoots at Clay in season two. Tex fucking jumped on top of Clay. I don't know. To try and fucking, uh, you know, protect. And this him. guy doesn't jump, he just hodls. His, his, his legs humped. Yeah, he, I mean, hopefully next season, maybe there's a bit of a time skip and he, he gets rid of this cane thing because it's just. It's a gimmick that no one can I mean, he was it. shitting off without the cane he's, and he shit her with the cane. But yeah, in terms of Sergeant at Arms, who would, uh, who would easy pick? I mean. Let's go around the table. Creeper's no there anymore. No, Creeper's gone. Alvarez is gone. Taz is gone. Coco's gone. So, I mean, there's a lot of guys wiped out there. Maybe that's why Hank's going to keep it, like, based on there being no one else. I could see him giving it to Gilly. Right, we'll get to Gilly in a minute. We'll go, uh, we'll go around the... Right, so Hank's there. You mean go around the table? There's fucking nobody right. else to go to. Bishop, VP, can he give it to him? Was well, either Angel... Gilly, Gilly or, or so. keep it on fucking Hank? Right, well, it's not going to be Angel. Realistically, it probably should be Angel. I think he'll try and make it Angel. I don't think Angel will anything to do with it. Neither do I. And I think this whole gimmick of, if you're not on this train, then you'll get off this train. Could it be Nestor? Will Nestor even be patched in? Do these guys even want him in? Seems like Alvarez was the only person that wanted Nestor there. Actually, that's, that's a fit, isn't it? No, yeah, I think so. That's a Fuck. fit for a different day. But now, now That's that, a fit for when you're monetized. Now, now that Alvarez is gone, I mean, does Nestor even have a future at the club? Who knows? I don't even think I don't even think the show writers fought that far ahead. Probably not. Because realistically, literally everyone despises Nestor. Apart from Dondo, who, not Dondo, uh, Otaro. Right. Who's like, you're a bitch, but you poured me a drink. What? Yeah, so I mean, I don't know. Will, will Nestor be out? Will Nestor even want to be a man? No, I... I Without Alvarez? Nestor's loyalty is to Alvarez. Exactly. Maybe he'll jump will, ship charter. How will Nestor feel about the way they fucking... Job them clean it. You know, they betrayed Alvin. Maybe Nestor won't want to be part of the club. Maybe Nestor will leave, follow his, uh, his, his, his uh, leader, his mentor. But that's what gets me. Otaro, right, going off topic, but Otaro completely burying Nestor when they're in a war with the Suns. They're not just feel a bit unnecessary. I don't know, the mines just have a knack of fucking burying prospects. And sons, they joked about. Yeah, I don't remember anyone really burying. I don't remember them really coming down heavy on any of the prospects. I just don't. Remember, Phil Lynn once lost Lila and fucking Chibs went up to him and scored up to him. I mean, that was kind of a bit serious. Like, they were on lockdown. Yeah. And this, and this, like, they just seem to bury the prospect for the simple fact they're a prospect. I guess Steve is pretty bur buryable, like. Yeah. And back to the guy that buried the most, Hank. This guy has to go. Fuck him, man. I'd kick him at the club if I fucking had the chance. <laughs> he's so, he's the shittest guy in the show, honestly. Yeah, he's not. I, I, I'm not. I, he's. I'd say. I'd honestly say Emily, and, and Felipe are better than Hank. I never thought I'd say that. Ooh. But you know what? He's a fucking club member. He's sergeant. We're four Ooh. seasons in. I didn't see Emily or Felipe phoning their moms when they were in trouble. No, any time Emily's in trouble, she just phones easy. So. Oh, would you not rather him phone easy than his ma? Easy? <laughs> he doesn't need phone easy, easy was fucking right next to him. And on that note, guys, let us know who you think will be the new Sergeant at Arms. I mean, we, we, we want it to sound like we've got loads of options, but in reality there's three. Either Hank remains, Angel gets it, which I doubt, or it goes to Gilly. That's your that's your. Hey, well, hold on. I, 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 I voiced my opinion of him being the worst character the show's got right now. Do you think he is as well? I think he's the worst Santa Padre member no, ever. Fuck right? Santa Padre, I'm talking about club as a whole. I don't know, I'd need no, to the think. the show as a whole. I'd need to think about it. He's up there though, he's not good. He's top five easily, isn't he? Aye, uh, probably. He's not good. He's fucking shit, get him in the bin. But anyway, I'm going with Gilly. Gilly's replacing him. I'm going with Gilly. We're all going with Gilly.
U.S. Army Marshal.